Well, we're going to meet up with Mitch. Uh, he has, I think, a 2013 WRX uh, hatchback that's bagged. We're gonna meet up with him, do a photo shoot. Uh, he's picking the location today, so I don't really know what to expect. He's normally pretty good at picking some artistic spots for us. Um, yeah, so I don't really know what we're gonna get into except taking some photos and trying to trying to make a little video out of it. But uh, we'll, we'll see what kind of spot he gets out and see what kind of photos we can get. We have our first spot. We're trying to get it with a little backlighting. Uh, not sure how it's gonna work, but we're gonna try. We got the 70 to 200. So I'll walk a good distance and then see how we can line it up. Definitely need some long reach on this one. I don't know if that picks it up. But we'll probably do get the tripod, do two shots on this to have the polarizer on both sets. My favorite thing about this tripod is it never has to be level. I can just use the ball head. Keep it up. straight. You that yeah, I picked it up. I guess I picked it up last year when I bought the okay. this new camera. Got this photo right here. Oops, I don't know if this picks it up. We'll set the polarizer for the side. Get that. Reset the polarizer for the windshield. Get one of those. Not get run over by this truck. <laughs> See if we can go a little bit further back, try to point at the sun a little harder. Get that sun glare in there. So this one would like to get the tripod a little lower. Doesn't go much lower, but pick these out. I'm trying to get some of the grass as a foreground. Yeah. Get one more photo with the car off centered here. Dang, I like these photos. <laughs> We're on the other side of the road. Angle's not much different, but just something. We'll go in tight on it. See my back far enough to go full 200. Yeah, just about. I'm gonna get a second spot. Just drove around and found it. I hate parking spot lines, but we'll try it. Get to the top of these pillars. Let's see what we have. One. Can we just run down one of these roads or even that last, when we were riding behind like yeah. the gym area? Just park it right in the middle of that road. Yeah. I mean, the road's wide enough. I think the couple people that drive past will be able to get past you. Third spot, dead center of the road. It looks nice when you darken everything up. Luckily, we only have the windshield, so polarizer once. I think that's a killer shot. It's hard to see my reflections in it. We'll move a little bit and then change lenses and do some detail shots. So now we're gonna do some detail shots, a little closer up. Now we gotta dodge what reflections work best. I always like the angle, like the look of a wide angle lens, but Let's get the whole building in there, how about that? Something about 
the compression of like the long lens just works and then you get the craziness of the wide angle. Highlight these new wheels. See, I'd like, Let's see if we'll try to find one with the Brembo showing through the gap. Can you bump it like, I don't know, six inches just to, just to get that spoke like here. Yeah. <laughs> Let's see how exact you can get this. Then I gotta dodge my reflection on these. Coming tight. Don't know if that shows up on the GoPro. Coming tight, just get a little bit of the front bumper sticking out. Focus on the Brembo. Don't like cutting off the front and the rear of the wheel, but I will cut the top and the bottom off. That's it. I don't know. What, almost an hour of shooting? Now we're getting to a nice sky, but we got photos from, I think, two or three locations attempt out a little video we'll piece it together and see what we can get out of it thanks to mitch for bringing out his wrx thanks mitch yes sir Just rapid fire a bunch of those off yeah that one kind of looks in focus hey that one definitely is 7178 all right that's enough goofing around. Trans -human. Trans -human.